Hi guys, Football Manager YouthDevelopment.co.uk here. In this episode, I'm going to be booting up Football Manager 2015. We're going to be taking a look at the player search screen and I'm going to be providing you with as many tips as I can. Some of the tips in this episode you may have seen already um, or you may know about them, but hopefully I can teach you guys something new. As always, if you do have any additional comments on this, on this topic, please do leave your comments in the comments section below. Okay, so my first tip is how to find bargain players. So what I've done here, I've clicked on realistic transfers and these are all the players that would be interested in coming to my club and um, that I know of anyway. So really, really good tip to do if you just set it by ability. Um, obviously all the players that you have scouted will go to the top. You set it by asking price and what you wanna be doing is just say if you set it for about five million pounds, good thing to then do, obviously because it's already sorted by ability, if you do it by general info, and um, what you're gonna be having a look for here guys is we're gonna be comparing the value of the player against the asking price here. So basically if we keep going down here, um, you can still see here that we've got players like Callum McGregor who are still in our search um, box here. We're still going down here. Um, he's still in the searches and so yeah, this guy here is a really, really good example. We've got an excellent player here in Callum McGregor. He's really, really good for my sort of team anyway. We can see here that he would actually be the best player in my team um, and he's actually only worth 1.4 million to buy. Clearly, I don't have any money at all, um, but this is obviously a really, really good tip for you to do. So basically what you're gonna be doing here is just comparing the player value um, against the asking price that the clubs are asking for. So you can always sort it by value and we're down to 1.4 million pounds here. Um, and there's loads of players that have got a value of much more than that. So in terms of how much you'll actually be paying for these players, they're pretty much really, really good bargains. My next tip is gonna help you see how much information your scouts know about players. So really good thing that you can do. If you set your um, yeah, search filter to any good players that have got good current ability, if you right click on this top row here, what you're gonna be wanting to do is customize current view. And then what we're gonna do on the filter section here, we're gonna to go to scouting and good thing to have on your player search screen is the knowledge level. So if I'm gonna add that in and we're gonna press okay, what we can see here, this is how much information our scouts know about these players. So if you have a player like this, for example, you can see here in the scout report that our Scout obviously knows every single thing about him. This is obviously really, really good and will help you a hell of a lot when you're trying to find some players that you absolutely know a lot of information about. Clearly, a player like this, um, you know, he's a good young Brazilian player, 20 years old. He's got potential, uh, obviously, to be pretty good. Um, but our scouts only know 6% about this player. So in terms of where you're going to be assigning your scouts, it's really, really good idea to look at the players that have low that you have low knowledge of. My third tip is how you can find youth internationals. So this is pretty simple filter, but all you have to do is set the age of the players to at most 18 years old. And then in the conditions, what you have to do is go down to youth appearances. And what you need to do is set it to at least one. So we can see here that there's a load of 18 year olds. Um, obviously all of these guys have got at least one international cap there's over 300 players that I've found here so obviously I can scout all of these players and all of them will obviously be in the under 21 squads or you know like under 19s under 18s whatever um, sort of international teams but that's a really really quick way of just finding a load of youth players that are currently playing for their country so yeah just grab the lot like that and then just get a scout report and jobs are good and Keeping along the same theme of finding players that are, you know, are playing in certain competitions, what you can also do is go to the competition appeared screen. And so what we can do here, so just for example, if you're looking for 18 year olds um, who have potentially played in like Europe, Europa Cup, you know, sort of competitions of a little bit, um, you know, that are actually a little, little bit better. So we can see here, this guy, for example, looks pretty decent, 600K. Um, he's ca currently playing for, um, yeah, he's on loan from Atalanta, but he's currently playing in the Europa Cup. So, you know, guys like this might be pretty good. This guy, 18 years old, 300k, looks pretty decent to be honest, got fantastic mental attributes. Um, so yeah, that's quite a good way, I think, of just finding some really, really good young players. Um, obviously, if you wanted to sort of up the age limits or whatever you wanted to do, um, you can certainly find some pretty decent 
kind of younger players that are actually playing in some decent competitions. Um, obviously, if you want to, you know, set it to World Cup or, you know, Champions League or whatever. Um, so, yeah, if you wanted to find some 18-year-olds that are playing in the Champions League, um, we can certainly do that. Um, yeah, obviously, some of these players we won't know anything about at all. Um, but, yeah, certainly a good way to help find them. Another really, really good thing that you can do with the editor, guys, is if you're looking for a particular type of player. Now, I've done some experimenting in the past, and I have found that the, you know, you can set up certain preferred moves. My a particular favorite of mine is plays one twos. Now, what I've done here, um, obviously, I'm managing just a really, really small sort of Swiss club at the moment, so nothing special at all. But what I've decided to do is just take off any, you know, just so I want to see all players basically. And um, yeah, so what you can do is look for preferred moves, and um, they're all all sort of like listed here basically. But I have found, um, you know, if you can find a striker that does play one twos, just have a look. There's 14 players that my, you know, player search has found, but just have a look at some of the names in this list. Um, and yeah, the, the type of players that you'll notice, they're just absolutely fantastic with that type of, sorry, type of preferred move. So you've got the likes of Hazard, Verratti, Messi, Ozil, Muller, um, Benzema, um, Lewandowski. You know, these are all really, really, really top players and they're going to get you a lot of goals. So when you do start to rack through the seasons, um, you know, looking for particular preferred moves, especially ones like plays one twos, you know, all the ones that the best players do have like this. Um, that can really, really, really help you to find some absolutely quality players. Um, obviously, what you want to be doing is just trying to, you know, find ones that you really do like the look of. Um, you know, there's going to be certain ones that you're just going to like sort of thing. So, yeah, it's certainly worth doing and having a flick through just to sort of see if that does help you find some really, really good players as well. This one is going to be my final tip, but I'll just show you a really, really good thing. So obviously, like I said, I'm just managing in the Swiss League at the moment. But if you have a look at the current ability of some of these players, they're pretty decent, to be honest. Um, I've got some players like this guy here. Um, he's only on £1,100 a week. Um, and he's just, well, he's pretty good, to be honest, just for a you know 20-year-old regen um, in the Swiss division. He's absolutely killing it at the moment. Um, yeah, really, really good player. Um, I've also got players like Christian Holm. He's on, this guy's on £525 a week. Um, yeah, I don't even need to sort of begin to describe how good this guy is. You can just see by his attributes. Um, just remember he's playing in this Swiss kind of premier division um so yeah he's absolutely killing it at the moment um one thing you're obviously noticing with all these players their wages are pretty cheap so 2200 pounds a week um pretty cheap um so yeah players like this as well 1400 pound a week um really really good players so what i'm going to do i'm just going to go into the player search screen i'll just show you how i found players like this and um, you will notice that all these players in my first team pretty much most of them are on loan so to find these players what i would do i'm just going to go to the scouted bix it's a little bit easier um but yeah what you can do if you go to show filters and what you're going to be wanting to do is just go to realistic regular loans good thing that you can do here so you, what you'll be doing obviously depending on your wage budget you can set the figure um as probably as high as you want so during the course of the summer i was looking for players that had a you know wage maximum of, say about three thousand pounds um, obviously, if you sort it by ability, what you'll be doing is finding all the very, very best players that you can to try and get on loan at least that have really, really small wages. So if you're managing at a small club, a um, guy like this, £500 a week, um, and yeah, pretty decent. I actually had this guy on loan last season. Um, he was pretty good just for like a squad player, but for like 600 and you know 500 pound a week, you really just can't kind of complain. But it's really, really easy to just find some players that are on pretty cheap wages, um, and that will certainly do a job for you. Um, I've kind of mopped up most of the sort of better ones that I've got in on loan. A um, player like this, for example, 575 pound a week, 18 years old, but just have a look at his mental attributes. Um, you know, certainly he's got a little bit to do um, on the sort of technical side of things. But, you know, if you're kind of playing in a either smaller division or, you know, a lower league team, then you definitely, definitely can't go wrong um, with using that sort of scouting method. Um, obviously, you'll notice here as well, guys, like I mentioned earlier, you do need to know the knowledge level. That's really, really important. And obviously, it does help you 
to you know sort of obviously know a lot more about these players um you know how good they are etc and things like that so yeah i am going to call this the end of the video guys um don't want this one to sort of run on too long so yeah if you do have any comments um just about how you use the player search screen you know any sort of like little tips and things like that um you know obviously most of the obvious ones are you know sort of obvious <laughs> and yeah if you do have any sort of additional ones then do leave your comments below of course do subscribe to the channel and we'll be back very very soon for some more football manager videos thanks for watching